Hey, this is Matt from Vestquat. Today is Tuesday, July 28th, 2020, and tomorrow is the FOMC announcement. So that is always a noteworthy event that you want to be aware of, and because it is a major event, that means we have it available as an event that can be tested as well as the day before and the day after are both available to be tested within our Discover platform. So what I want to do today is just take a look at what has happened historically on the day before the FOMC announcement. And we'll keep it simple, just add a simple 200-day uh, moving average to it, so there's not going to be a whole lot to it in terms of uh, price action context. We're just going to be looking at this seasonality-like study. So let me set it up here. We will look at all four instruments. The entry is going to be at the open of regular trading hours, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time as a long. It will exit at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. The market event is down here on the left. We can come in here and go to the day before market events. We've got a bunch of these available for all the higher tiered uh, reports and events that happen on a regular basis. And I'm going to go to this day before FOMC announcement. Hit equals next to it. That will add it to the study. And then lastly, I'm just going to add above a 200-day moving average. You know, we can get as creative as we want here and discover uh, adding opening filters, price patterns, all that sort of stuff. But for today, I just want to keep this simple and look at what has happened the day before FOMC announcement went above the 200. And here we go. So these are the results of going long the day before the FOMC announcement when you're above the 200-day moving average going long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at the close of regular trading hours, 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Historically, this has happened 104 times in the ES, 104 times in the NASDAQ, 107 in the YM, and 99 in the Russell. So very similar sample sizes. And looking at the win rates, all four instruments, very similar. Win rates coming in around this 61% for the majority of these. YM a little bit better. But historically, these have leaned a bit more towards the bullish side on this day. And if you look down at the average win to average loss, you'll notice all of the wins on average are bigger than the average loss. So not only has this day leaned more to the bullish side historically with 60% win rates there, the average win is slightly larger than the average loss on these days as well. So historically, this day has had a bit of a bullish bias to it. Um, and again, this is not including the opening filters or any price action around what happened yesterday. Just a general study around the day before FOMC day. So if you want to dig into to more context around this, feel free to do so. I'm going to leave it at this. Uh, good luck today, guys, and we will see you next.